I got a question for this crowd. And excuse me, does anybody in this crowd give a shit about the Iraqis? I don't. That's all. That's all I wanted to hear. I didn't think so. What the hell are we dying for? I have no idea. If it was for oil, as I said on the show, what the hell am I paying 260 a, a gallon for? It can't be for oil. I need a drink. Let's uh, screw the setup. Just bring me a, bring me a cup of coffee. Give them a drink. They're drinking and I'm not. What the hell do you think? I'm crazy? Hey, here's another one. Uh, this is a very, very uh, fair and balanced newspaper. The San Jose Jerk Your Knee News. Here, see if you can sell this around the neighborhood. Fighting nears sacred sites. Have they ever referred to a church in the San Jose area as sacred on the front page in your lifetime? No. No, no, that's not sacred. Uh, let's see, what else? An Iraqi man runs for cover Friday in, a, in front of the shrine of Imam Hussein in Karbala. Who the hell is Imam Karbala, whatever his name is? What do I give a shit about Imam Hussein? As a matter of fact, if this was an uncensored event, I have something else to say. They're telling me about saints in Iraq. In this country, there are no Christian saints, there are no Jewish saints, there's nothing. Nothing sacred, no sacred soil. But over there, we got to learn the ABCs of their sacred saints. Yeah. An Iraqi man runs for cover Friday in that sacred shrine as militia fighters, fighters, we call them murderers, head cutters, terrorists, loyal to, now, radical Shiite cleric. Where the hell they get the word cleric? How about fat bastard in a burqa? Now, here's the best punchline. This was, this really took a lot to do. Friday prayers were canceled at the shrine because of the threat of fighting. Oh, God. Oh, God. Please forgive me. Kiss my... Wait, there's more. More learning for us to go through. Battles also broke out in An Najaf. What do they all have hyphenated names over there? They're not English. Near the Shrine of Imam. They're not British. What the hell is the hyphenated names? Can't they change it to like Jonestown or something like that? Give them, give them Kool-Aid! I'll pay for the Kool-Aid. Get it over with already. Still on the floor, sacred homeless in San Francisco. Well, I'm stuck here in traffic. I may as well have a cup of coffee. I need an assistant over here to bring me the rest of the newspapers. I can't reach in. There's a primary rule in theater. Never turn your ass to a crowd. So I can't turn. I need someone to creep over here and give me a, a paper or come throw it at me, whatever. It's a nice crowd for a small auditorium. Thank you, Professor. He's, he's having a good time over there. You know why I love this Cadillac? Because when this Cadillac was made, you know what I'm going to say, don't you? The chrome was thick! And the women were... All right, this is a savage crowd. The chrome was thick and the women were straight. Same newspaper, I've seen it. Here, you can, you can uh, sell this, uh, homeless sir. Thank you. See if you can... Mm -hmm. Oakland Tribune, Jerry Brown's hometown newspaper. Oh, this gets even better. Tanks blast into Al Sadr's lair. Suddenly a new vocabulary. I like this something to that. Tanks blast into Al Sadr's lair. Shit, uh, Shiite Medai Army militiamen. I, I left my glasses home. Shit, Medai Army militiamen. I don't know. I was dyslectic in school. I skip eyes and. Attack on Najaf. All right, let's have a little uh, fun here. I want to ask the audience a question or two. How many people in this audience are Democrats? 
No, it's okay if you're here. You'll be pumped. No. Remember, we're the conservatives. We don't kill innocent people. I have a question for you. Does each and every one of you have a little American flag? Can I see that flag? Oh. Oh, that's good. Now, that is flag waving. Do you know what this looks like to a Democrat? They think they're at a Nazi bun meeting. If a Democrat was on this stage or they ever saw a video of this in the Senate and they saw America, wave the flags, wave the flags. Oh God, a crowd of Americans waving American flags. There's something wrong with this picture. It's a bun meeting. Oh, you know, my son Russ, he is the greatest. He started the Paul Revere Society. I want you to know that. When he was a young kid, he and my wife started that with us. We did a little family thing. And Russ ran for office in Marin County as a Republican. He was a younger guy five years ago. All he did was want to run for office as a Republican. The people said things to him that he'd never heard in his life. Nazi, die, all because he had an R next to his name. I said, Russ, get out of politics, get into business, make your fortune, and then go back into politics because it's a dirty game. Well, he left politics and he built a great business called Rockstar, and I hope, you know. And I never want to see him in politics. It's a dirty game. But McClintock is a great man. This man should have been governor. He should have been governor. I'm feeling better because I can feel that my legs are staggering now from the coffee. There's sufficient stagger in the legs for me to feel that I can read the paper. He's not ready to leave here. Graduating in the red. Cal